This is an upscaled and enhanced slow motion video of the F-35 aircraft that suffered a landing mishap on the deck of the USS Carl Linson in the South China Sea earlier this year. It left seven sailors injured while the pilot safely ejected and was later recovered. The Navy confirmed the accident, making it the fifth major mishap aboard the deployed carrier since late November 2021. I think that average person can't tell the difference between George Stone and Kurt Russell. If I were to say Patrick, that's the only one. Because it's this obvious that we're starting to see Patrick. It's going to look like a banana. I agree. If we're going down this road again, it better be a bullet. Take one, Patrick. Still, she couldn't be a bullet. Look at that, we got a mercury aircraft for a pilot. Let's get her statement. I'm not moving forward officially until Angela lays it. If it concerns St. Patrick, can't let this get anywhere near you. Actually, we need a full Chinese wall here. Sorry, one, I'm Korean. And two, all of those actually in China. Back them up. Oh, my God. Now, we will see you. Who's the one that's yelling? Fire, fire, fire. Look at that. We got a mercury aircraft for a pilot in the water. Carrier Air Wing 2 reported four other major incidents involving the aircraft. Naval Safety Center data shows that the first incident, which occurred November 22, 2021, was an in-flight engine fire aboard an F-A-18E Super Hornet that was able to land successfully. Two days later, an MH-60R Seahawk helicopter unexpectedly lost its sonar dipping equipment while conducting a training flight. The third incident happened November 29th and involved another F-A-18E Super Hornet. In that time, an issue with the plane's left engine forced its pilot to shut it down and land using the other good engine. Finally, on December 31st, a CMV-22B had an engine fire while on the Coral Vinson's deck. None of the four incidents resulted in any injuries or fatalities. Asked about the string of mishaps, Navy spokesman Lieutenant Nicholas Lingo stated that all five incidents remain under investigation and they cannot speak to any particular pattern until the investigation concludes. Lingo added that the F-35 
which is assigned to the Carrier Air Wing 2, suffered its mishap while the Carl Dinsen was concluding routine flight operations in the South China Sea. He added that, additional details and the cause of the in-flight mishap is under investigation. According to the Navy, the pilot was rescued by a U.S. military helicopter in its unstable condition. Of the seven injured sailors, three required medevac to a medical treatment facility in Manila, Philippines, and four were treated aboard the aircraft carrier. Lingo said that two of the evacuated sailors are in stable condition. One is in critical condition. One sailor is still being treated aboard the carrier. The other three have been released, he added. The incidents come at a time when the Vinson was participating in dual carrier operations, along with the USS Abraham Lincoln's threat group. The deployment was also the first time the new F-35 stealth fighter was deployed aboard a carrier. Navy salvage crews operating from a commercial salvage ship have recovered the F-35C Lightning II Joint Strike Fighter. The F-35C, assigned to the Argonauts of VFA-147 Strike Fighting Squadron, was plucked from the floor of the South China Sea with Navy personnel aboard the offshore vessel, Picasso, which had departed from Okinawa on February 23rd, according to the service. The Navy sent personnel from Task Force 75, Natal Sea Systems Command, and Nav Sea's Supervisor of Salvage and Diving aboard the Picasso a vessel designed for deep diving and salvage of offshore industries, according to owner Ultra Deep Solutions. The wreckage was recovered from a depth of approximately 12,400 feet using a CURV-21, a remotely operated vehicle, which attached specialized rigging and lifting lines to the aircraft. Recovery of the aircraft eased fears that China or Russia could seize the aircraft, either to replicate the technology aboard or discover ways to defeat the fighters while the Navy did not specify where the recovery operations occurred. The Japan Coast Guard issued a notice to Mariners late in January 2022, warning of salvage operations about 170 miles west of the Philippine island of Luzon. The Navy has confirmed the authenticity of a leaked video. An internal investigation reveals how a junior officer let several shipmates watch the footage of the accident on his monitor, and how a chief yeoman recorded the footage on her phone before sharing it to the other sailors including a senior chief. The ensign and four senior enlisted leaders received non-judicial punishment on a charge of failing to obey an order or a regulation, although officials determined that none of the infractions justified court-martial. I think that first can't tell the difference between George and Kurt Westlaw. Is this officer to start with action? Look at the men. I agree. If we're going down this road again, the men will be a little bit. Still, she could be a little bit. Let's get her statement. I'm not moving forward officially until Angela does. If it concerns St. Patrick, the end of this game would be here. Angela would be a full Chinese walker. Sorry, one. I'm afraid. And two. Who's the one that's yelling fire, fire, fire? If you like the channel, please subscribe and click on the notification bell. Thank you.